start uh, documenting some juice recipes. But uh, so here we got about four or five carrots. We got about four or five uh, stalks of celery, and then we got one whole lemon, some uh, about a couple of thumbs of ginger, and about four uh, hearty green leaves of kale. So let's get juicing. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. Today we are doing a juice recipe on how to heal prolapse. Basically, um, I, as you know, I had a bicycle wreck and I suffered pelvic organ prolapse. And all the organs on the left side of my body descended down in the lower left quadrant, which caused me to have digestion issues and just digestion issues to name a few. So, And I made my juice and it is delicious. It's pretty spicy with ginger, but uh, it's really good. But what I wanted to talk to you about was um, the Omaha diet and pelvic organ prolapse. Um, I really think that for me, the OMOD has been a lifesaver for my pelvic organ prolapse. Um, prolapse for the last three days I have incorporated a lot of fats into my diet. Um, I started uh, basically doing a lot more fats like an avocado, some nuts, um, some chia seeds like I, you know it's in the previous videos and, um, and it was great. I felt great had you know, I felt really good and stabilized mentally, but then one day, I think it was like the third day after trying this, I stopped juicing and I was doing smoothies. So, when I did that, um, things got a little out of balance again, because juicing has been one of the things that has really, really helped my pelvic organ prolapse, like in a major way. That and the one meal a day. Um, the one meal a day is basically, you know, where you don't eat throughout the day. You, for about uh, 20 hours, you don't eat any food. And um, you, you, and you don't even drink any juices. You're not supposed to technically, but I've been kind of slipping off the wagon a little bit and I've been doing, um, like in the morning I've been having a coffee, a decaf coffee with some blackstrap molasses in it because I'm on the uh, blackstrap molasses uh, challenge where I am trying to basically heal my body with black strap molasses. I'm trying to reverse gray hair and I just got a book that uh, really emphasizes on all of the major um, diseases that can be healed with black strap molasses and it's very very interesting um, this man he was a physician and he put all kinds of patients on it and they were able to get rid of tumor growth and all kinds of different things and heart problems um, female issues um, on and on and on so, um, and if you look online, you can find some information about it as well. But, uh, long story short, so, uh, incorporated some fats into my diet, and yesterday I had a major freaking blowout. My daughter, I threw a birthday party for her, was up, I had to sing at chorus at church, and I got really, really busy. And right when I was getting ready to come in and lay down and do an inversion, which is where I prop my feet up and lay back to help my digestion and heal my body, which is part of the um, the protocol for um, for uh, you know this problem that I have with prolapsed organs, and um, to heal naturally without surgery, which I've been doing amazing, and I was doing amazing until that day, and then all of a sudden. 
I caused a dysfunction uh, within my body again and um, I experienced a lot of pain and um, a lot of we had eaten for the birthday party and then after the birthday party I was in gut-riching cramping pain because evidently some things got uh, constricted within my um, intestines and it was just so painful like I can't even tell you what happened or what it, but it was stress related because I had my husband give me a back rub and um, and he gave me some adjustments and I felt better after that immediately so it was stress related and um, so uh, you know I mean I had a, a few adjust the adjustments were not even I was so tense and everything that really it just allowed my body to relax so um, it just the cramping eased up and everything but um, I just caused an imbalance within my body from going out left field again so I have a problem with homeostasis of in fight or flight staying stuck in that mode and um, ever since I went through the nursing program um, it's something that I have struggled with Um, I worked in a nursing home and I took care of people who were chronically ill and there never was enough people on staff uh, to help these people and it was a nightmare. Every day I walked into work knowing that I was not going to be able to do the best that I, that I would, my best was not going to be enough. And yeah, I should have found another job, but you do, you do what you do. You know, we do what we do. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. But so that being said, meanwhile back at the ranch, what I've decided to do is to um, not eat any fats tonight. I'm not going to have any fats at all. Zero zilch none. I'm just going to eat uh, my juice and some fruits and veg. I'm going to eat some fruit and then I'm going to probably do a green salad and maybe some rice or something like that. But um, I, you know, I've just, I've got to stay off the fat tonight. I may make a really delicious uh, vegetable soup. I was dreaming that up in my mind. It would be super easy. And I may do a recipe on it. Um, I found a really great recipe that inspired me off of forks over knives. So, um, and let me show you that look. If you have not ever seen this rest, this book, it is a great one. It really is. It's a vegan, plant-based. Um, magazine that has tons of very awesome recipes in it. I got this back in the summer, but I've just now started to enjoy it because I've been really busy and it's just been one thing after another. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. And I think that's all that I'm going to say. I'm going to go enjoy this juice and meditate and, um, yeah.